All right, in this how-to video, we're going to walk you through the sign-up process for SiteGround. So go ahead and click that link in the post, and it'll bring you to a page like this. The background may look different. It has changed over time from tan to now blue and blue and purple. Either way, we're on the Manage WordPress Hosting. Manage means they take care of a lot of the server details, and you don't have to worry all about that back-end and more technical stuff, which is, which is what we love about SiteGround. All right, we have three options. Startup. Um, great for if you have one site and then if you hover over the essential features it shows you other things like WordPress auto update 24 7 support etc but the grow big is their best seller um, if you're gonna have more than one website I do recommend this on the startup you can only have one on the grow big you can have as many as your resources will allow um, you can't do a hundred sites but if you had a handful maybe even five to ten that'd be just fine and then this one comes with premium WordPress features, like a free transfer, priority support, a super cacher, which speeds things up in the WordPress site itself, and then free restores, which means when you back up the site, if you need to bring it back from a backup, just a couple clicks and you can do that. Then finally, the Go Geek is kind of their higher end uh, one, which allows for unlimited websites. And on this one, we've had, I believe, 42 sites on one GoGeek plan. So you can really kind of crank this server and get a lot of stuff on it. Then it comes with more geeky stuff with staging. Staging allows you to have an additional site to test stuff and stage your content. And then um, you can do that with your site. So go ahead and choose a plan. I'm going to do get or grow big. Now that we've chosen a plan, step two is to choose a domain or state that you already have a domain. So you can either register a no, new domain name here by entering it and then choosing the ending that you would like. Um, and I have another link tutorial in the blog post that'll show you how to save some money with a service called Namecheap when registering a new domain name. So I'm going to click, I already have a domain name, so I'll do the domain name I'm using right now. PressAvenue.com. So you just put in your domain name, .net, .org, doesn't matter, and go ahead and hit proceed. It'll take you to step three, which is the details of the whole thing. So you enter in your email address and the password that you want on the account. If you already have a SiteGround account, you go ahead and log in with this link here. Further down, it says client information. You put in your country, first and last name, company if you're using one city street zip phone then your payment information goes here and then you check if the billing address is the same purchase information instead of going back if you want to change your plan you click the little refresh here and it gives you a drop down so you can change that there and it changes the price and the features that are added um, period so the hosting price listed is for the first period um, so you can choose i want to do a trial I want to lock this rate in for 24 months or 36 months. So whatever your budget allows for, I'd always shoot for the highest. Then you get that kind of cheaper rate uh, going forward. And further down, um, the Grow Big plan and the Go Geek plan allow for free file transfer. If you go down to the startup plan, um, that disappears. And lastly, the site ground scanner. I don't think you really need this. There are plugins like Security and iTheme Security that really help out for this. Um, so I don't really feel like you need this. Finally, you confirm their terms and you can click and read them and privacy policy. And lastly, you can sign up for SiteGround News, which is actually pretty good. And then you go ahead and hit pay now. All right, lastly, it'll kick you into the control panel, which is this right here. And what I love about SiteGround is your site is ready right now. With some other hosts like HostGator or Bluehost, you may have to wait between two hours to up to two days, but right now it's ready to go. Yours may look slightly different depending on the special offers and different news that they have, but if you have any questions, please do let us know. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching our video. Right below me is a circle where you can click and subscribe to this channel to see more great WordPress tutorials just like this one. Right next to it, you can click the square, which will bring you to our website. Over here on the right hand side, we have some best of videos, all WordPress related to help you get started.